Hey everyone, it's Brett Hornby here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. All those watching, having a great holiday season, Merry Christmas, and Happy Boxing Day. I know that's the uh, appropriate greeting to uh, wish for the day after Christmas, Boxing Day, in the Commonwealth Nations, and Tours for a big shopping day, but I was on the other side of the trenches working retail, both as an employee working a cashier or security in the retail environment. But anyway, the reason why I made this video was decided this year I'll do another Christmas haul video, and and this also forces me to tidy up my uh, kitchen counter this year because last year I was sick as a dog. At Christmas time, and never got around to uh, going through my bag and putting it away until like July. And hopefully, also, if I get any jerseys, it won't be October till I make the video. But before I get to show you my haul, if you want to follow along with this Calgary sports fan's journey, just uh, make sure you hit like and subscribe. And I have my other social media links down in the description below and one of the things I did ultimately buy myself for Christmas last year and didn't get around to making a video until October is I'm wearing my Blasty 2.1 version jersey it's not the first retro but I still like the original Blasty a lot more because it has more red but hey, it's still a sweet alternate jersey so there's one item that I purposely Put towards the end of my haul but uh, first I would say I'm not going to share that value I actually did get some more money for uh, Christmas this year so thanks to those who gave me money for Christmas mostly my grandmother so I will do eventually plan to buy some more jerseys but I'm going to also give you up some of the funds to pay for uh, Bills, living expenses, and actually, I'm gonna plan to put 20% of my uh, money that I got from my grandmother. I'll put it in my existing RSP, but I'm not gonna order everything until you know the New Year once the check clears and you get the funds and be able to give it the funds, make the order, and then of course the bank needs to be open for you to say, hey, I want to put this much in my RSP. So that's I don't have to show you, but uh, and I don't want to share how much I have, but uh, it helped in buying some more jerseys like I did last year with jerseys and t shirts. So I got the monetary stuff. Oh, I also got a shopper's gift card, which perfectly I need to make another shopper's run. So the first item for actual physical items, well, uh, yeah, this came from my sister and uh. People think, for some reason, think I like elephants. Hmm. I think before you go through my whole library and say, it's because you said you like dumbbells a lot as a kid. Yeah, that's why I like elephants. But uh, this is unique. I took it already out of the box because it had exploding star foam. So I wanted to not have star foam everywhere. But this looks like, uh, actually, the first time we're looking at it closely, because of the, st the exploding star foam was... Might be something you can put on you know your desk with the hole here. But I gotta say, this looks Thai Asian inspired. I mean this definitely looks more like an Asian elephant. And I know with knowing my elephants, Asian elephants are a lot more friendlier towards people than the African elephant. And then the other way you could tell is that the Asian elephants they have Smaller, paper-thin ears. Well, the African elephants, they got the bigger ears. And then you got the bull elephants. In Africa, the king, the trunk looks even more aggressive. So that's my just knowing about elephants. But uh, I did get some elephants for Christmas. That always seems to happen every year. I get elephants, so... I don't know what I'll put this off the side right here. And I think another thing I think I also got from my sister was my... Parents, my grandmother, I mean, basically my circle is now down to it's just me, 
my sister and my parents and grandmother, because the family started a bit smaller between people passing on, relationships changing for various reasons, and I don't have kids. My sister has kids, so I have nieces and nephews, but uh, this looks like a, kind of a cooker's kit. You know, wood spoon, got some wood uh, chopsticks, wooden fork, wooden stir, knife. So yeah, I know. I think we all got this from my sister, so that covers the, my sister portion, I believe, with everything right here. So thanks to my sister for everything. Me, I just gave gift cards to uh, my family because it's low hanging fruit, it makes it easier to budget. And the fact that these are knickknacks that you may or may not use. I'll have a use for some, but over the years, I sometimes get knickknacks because, oh, it's an elephant. Oh, it's Calgary Flames. I'll give this to Brett. I don't know if he'll use for it, but uh, I don't have time to search far and wide for that. So uh, there's that. I also got a few more items from my grandmother. Another thing I collect that I still sort of collect, but not as passionate because I uh, go into space and I find I want to collect jerseys more, but I collect coins, and actually my grandma was right about last year, one of the big news of 2022 was the queen passing away, and other than my grandmother and my media family, we all only knew about Queen Elizabeth II on the monarchy, on her money, I'm not sure if you'll make this out, but uh, I got a queen member Amelia Coin. I don't know if you can make this out, but it has the Queen Elizabeth on the color portraits. If you go on the uh, Royal Canadian Mint website, and then on the back, it shows a commemoration of being on the uh, throne from 1952 to 2022, seven years. And you got all four portraits of the Queen on the back of the coin. I have not received it yet in my pocket change. And I don't have pocket change much anymore, but it actually does look weird to see King Charles on the back of coins now, but but I mentioned Queen Elizabeth being the only monarchy that I've known from my whole life. Still on the case of coins, Royal Canadian Mint. Well, this is very, very, very small because this is a $10 pure gold coin and knowing how much Gold cost these days. Here's the gold coin I got. You need a microscope to see it, but it has the uh, C.R. Charles, you know, the third new emblem on it. And on the back still has the Queen Elizabeth, the original. Yeah, the older the portrait on there for 19 or 20, 22. They said there's only uh, 14 grams, but I guess, you know, it's how much gold costs these days, but... So I got some coins. That's all the coins I got this year. I know last year, when I was sick as a dog, I did actually get some uh, Ukrainian coins shaped like the Ukrainian egg last year in my mint collection, you know, because I do have Ukrainian bloodlines. So I got that, but I didn't get around to making a Christmas haul video last year because I mentioned I was sick as a dog. Being a Flames fan, I always get a calendar. I'm probably going to eventually still have to get myself a new Border Collie calendar for here, but this will go on the other side. Well, this year, i got a Calgary Flames calendar. You've probably seen this at the Calgary Club or even at Shoppers. The interesting thing is, is when I received this calendar, you get on the back here, given, you know, this team needs to uh, do a rebuild, how many of these players are still going to be with the Flames March 6th, I believe, is the trade deadline. I guess it has Jonathan Huberto for January. Yes, I did recently make a video on him as a, it's the new worst contract in the NHL. They got Andrew Maggiapone Huberto wearing the retro red. They got Andrew Maggiapone wearing the retro white. Then you got Jacob Markstrom wearing the uh, retro red. And then you got Blake Coleman. We're in reverse retro 2.0, the black pedestal jersey. And then you got Nazem Kadri. We're in the white red. 
And then they got Elias Lindholm, Orion Blasty. I think he's going to be gone in 2024. Then they got Kenzie Weir, Orion the White. Blame C, and so far he's been the best player that we got back in the Kachuk trade. Oh, hey. Tart to Foley. He's in Jersey now, wearing the retro red. And then you got Noah Hannafin, wearing the black, for first retro 2.0. I don't know if he's going to uh, still be with us in a couple months. Oh, actually, Kadri. Yeah, I like Kadri enough because I have a Kadri jersey wearing the black. But they got Kadri wearing regular red. Oh, hey, they got Huberto again wearing Blasty. And then there's Rasmus Anderson, white. And then close up, they have Navar, red, red. So those are the players that are on this calendar. Don't know if Dan Vladar is going to. Uh, so I'll put this one right over here. And then I got a bag. A bag of stuff here. So I'll pull out what I got in here. Some more sports themed stuff. I know a few things were re-gifted. This got thrown in. I don't drink Heineken, but my dad just say, hey, do you want this? Because mom bought liquor at the liquor store for in the gave store. So more stuff to add to the uh, cabinets. And actually this got re-gifted. This would be nice to have a collectible. This is the uh, scarf. The Heritage Classic. That's where we definitely didn't show up in that game, and both teams are still in the dumps. But it has that nice uh, color, flames. See, Calgary Flames, NHL 2023. So I did get the uh, Heritage Classic scarf, and it is a Fanatics for my Lake, but I don't wear scarves even when it is 40 below, but this is just something to. Add tertiary with my sports stuff. And then, got a couple more items here. This is paper. I actually got an update. Some hats. Now, I'll eventually wear in future videos. Got a new Gary Stan Peters hat. I know the one hat that I always worn for years is that with stretchable ones, but this one has the uh, you know, the snap back, so I do have another Stan Peters hat. And interesting, I got this hat. And actually, it was given to me, and it was the old style. And it looks just like this. That you've seen me wear on videos. You know, you got the white logo, this font, but it has the uh, string on there, so. Oh, yeah, 47, 49. So yeah, and this one's also adjustable. Just like that old one I have, but that one definitely is 1990s, so I got a couple new hats that uh, I'll uh, put in videos. But I got one more item. This will be the interesting item that I'll show and maybe show some uh, sentimental value. Once again, it's a picture. I know a couple years ago I did make the Christmas haul video. I got portraits and it was snow alligator. And it had, you know, I was given picture that I had, you know, cartoon look at Calgary landmarks. One had the McMahon Stadium and the other Scotia Big South. So places I spent a lot of time at. But uh, another thing people think you like a lot. Well, this one definitely is some sentimental value. It is hopefully you can make this out. I got a border collie uh, portrait. Yeah, a border collie with a I gotta say tennis ball in the mouth. Definitely uh, familiar with that pose. You know, I grew up with a border collie, and I think I gotta share at the end of the video why I like border collies, and we have ornaments to prove it. They grew up in a Border Collie household. But this almost looks like Titan. The couple, if I'm being nitpicky here, but the style of the ears this Border Collie has 
is on the top of the head while Titan, even Dave when we briefly had the crazy aggressive border collie the ears on the side of the head and thankfully this border collie had a nice healthy black nose because the one problem we had with Titan was he had a collie nose which is when you have that permanent red you know red rash on his nose and he just didn't like the cream so I guess you could say this is the uh, sentimental gift as I got a border collie and I always have a border collie uh, calendar I'll have to buy a new one but uh, I grew up with a border collie and I learned that lesson uh, when I was turning 10 I think I recall my dad trying to soften the blow of that Titan was uh, you know, I'm going to go to the clouds soon, and I think it was like he told me that, like, the weekend, and I remember it was a Monday where I was told that, uh, you know, this is when I was just about to turn 10, that uh, he was going to get put down, and I was thinking back then, keep in mind I was turning 10, I'm going to that, stretch that part, that I kept thinking, Titan doesn't have that energy like he used to, and he just slops around and pees everywhere. And then I, I think, well, he's 12 and a half. And that's why I was told uh, that he was almost essentially a 90 year old person. And, and he was a great dog. And Dave fulfilled some of my heart as well a couple years later when we went to the border collie well again. But he was too aggressive. And uh, we gave him away to a guy who had a jelly farm. And, he just didn't want to have the liability and I remember the guy when he had to take his lumps to eventually you know Dave definitely didn't like him at first and uh, eventually he said whoa that's the fastest border call I've ever seen and before he had visions of uh, him retiring because Dave would have given him his retirement he's like damn it I don't think I can use him in competitions he wouldn't get along with other dogs and finally it was just before the Labor Day weekend that uh, he was going to go away out of town and so he hired a dog sitter to, you know, he had like a dozen, a dozen dogs in a jelly farm and of course Dave, Dave was the one dog that was acting like too aggressive to the babysitter and the, the babysitter was about to say, well I ain't, I ain't babysitting this dog here so we had him for another weekend and fortunately Dave scratched me up here so I have a Scar up there, but Dave was well. It's fine with Dave. Is he always had the? I always had a kick out of Evil Titan. How dogs react when you first see them. After a long time, Dave always had his moments. I'm a puppy. I'm sorry to see you. And then the next one, he's curling up his muzzle like you got to sound the alarm bells. Uh, he was a crazy dog, but Titan was definitely the the one dog that uh, that's somewhat sentimental. So. As close as God, I know at my parents' place, some artists actually drew uh, actually a picture of uh, what Titan looked like because he had a little bit of a tricolor as well. It wasn't it wasn't pure black and white, but uh, and he had the bigger white stash. So that's as close as I got. So that's my Christmas haul for uh, 2023. Got various items, of course, elephants, some coins. Border Collies make an appearance and fill my sports fandom with some Flames and Stampeders. And yes, I do plan to buy some jerseys. I won't be ordering it till the new year once everything's cleared and I can divvy up my funds. And uh, the couple places I am planning on buying jerseys, one is going to be Custom Throwback Sports and the other is Royal Retros or 503 Sports. So I can throw some clues on what jerseys I plan to buy, and once I get those, hopefully the video will get made a lot sooner than not till October, because last year was just uh, kind of a chaos. I was sick throughout the winter, and then, then you're busy here and there, and life happens. Responsibilities happen that things don't get done. That's also why I made this video now, so I can get all my Christmas stuff put away and cleaned up. So I like to say, put everything away and get back to normal this time of year. So hopefully you enjoyed your holiday and 
as you always get ready for the new year. What, uh, hopefully you had some gifts that you enjoyed and maybe others make their Christmas haul videos. This is mine. It's not too much, but, uh, I'm, you know, my middle age. It's not as much stuff that I need and, you know, just add in what I want. Time goes on, but, you know, most of the time you just, uh, just got to take care of your essentials. So I'll close out as I say, if you want to follow along this Calgary sports fan's journey, just uh, make sure you hit like and subscribe. And I have my other social media links down in the description below. So I just want to say thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.